I spent my last birthday in Madrid and I had a fabulous time and I'm here to show you how you can get around Madrid on a budget. That's right, we're talking about cheap public transportation options, where to buy tickets, how much it costs, how to get around, and the full shebang right after this. Hi everyone, I'm Antoinette and welcome back to my channel. At Frolic and Courage, I like to give you the tips, tools, and resources to do the things you want to do. So if you're ready to go to Madrid, smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get straight into it. First, we need to understand how the public transportation system works in Madrid. Madrid is broken up into eight different zones, and they are labeled zones A, B1, B2, B3, zone C1, C2, and zones E1 and E2. When people say, oh my gosh, I can't wait for my trip to Madrid. I can't wait to see Real Madrid play in person. I can't wait to see Buen Retiro Park or Plaza Mayor, the Museo de Prado, Reina Sofia. And I want to get from the Adolfo Suarez Madrid Barajas Airport to the city center. They're all referring to Zone A. Remember that as we're going through this video. Madrid has 21 distritos or districts broken down into 128 barrios, which are neighborhoods sprinkled throughout the city. And they're all shaped like this puzzle piece as you can see here. Like I said before, Madrid is a large city, so you have a ton of different transportation options. The first option is the metro. There are 301 stations and 13 lines, mostly underground. Metro Madrid is in zone A. You also have Metro Norte, Metro Oeste, Este, and Sur in zones B1 to B3. There's also TFM, which is part of the metro system. It goes outside of the city center, and those are zones B1 to B3. As you're navigating the public transportation system, you're gonna come across a couple of different acronyms. The first acronym is CRTM, which is the Consorcio Regional de Transportes de Madrid. This is a group that is responsible for all of the public transportation in Madrid. You'll also see the acronym EMT, which is the Impresa Municipal de Transportes de Madrid, and this is your bus system. Next is the Metro Ligero, which is the light metro, and these are all of your light rail systems in Madrid. There are four lines labeled ML1 to ML4. Remember ML1 because I will refer to that in this video. Finally, you have the Cercanias Renfe, and these are all of your suburban commuter trains that go to and from Madrid, and they are labeled C1 to C10. The metro operates from about 6 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. and on Fridays and the eve of bank holidays it runs to about 2.15 in the morning. The EMT bus runs Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to about 11.30 p.m. and on the weekends and holidays from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. There's the Buos, which translates to owl and that's a night bus and they run after 11.30 p.m. at night. And just for reference all of the maps that I listed can be found by clicking one of the links down below. So now that you know a little bit about how the system works in Madrid let's go ahead and get right into those cheap public transportation options. The first option is to buy an EMT ticket. You can buy either a single bus ticket or a pack of 10 individual journey tickets. A single trip ticket only costs one euro 50. That is incredibly cheap. So any journey on the bus, one trip, no transfers included, is just one euro 50. For 10 trip tickets, you have two different options. The first is called a Metro Bus Pass. That gives you 10 single journeys on the Metro in zone A, on ML1, as well as the bus system for only 12 euros 20. The second 10 journey ticket option is the bus plus bus ticket and this is only valid on the bus and it gives you access to ride 10 different journeys on the bus with one transfer included up to 60 minutes for 18 euros 30. Also note on the bus, there is an airport express ticket which gets you from Madrid airport to the city center for only, guess what, five euros that's right it takes like 30 to 45 minutes and you make multiple stops but guess what it's only five euros and it's not that bad because you get to see a little more of the city while you're getting there you can buy emt tickets on the bus directly you can buy them at some tobacco stores and a couple of different newsstands the single journey tickets and the airport tickets are only purchased directly on the bus if you're looking for the 10 journey metro bus ticket that specific ticket can be purchased at the airport kiosks. To use it, you just buy your ticket, and since you're already on the bus, there you have it. The great thing about it is that it's really cheap, and tell you what, it's a lot cheaper than a taxi or an Uber because a taxi will cost you a flat rate of 30 euros, and an Uber can run anywhere from 15 to 29 euros from the airport. So an airport ticket at five euros or a single bus journey ticket at one euro 50 is a really, really good 
price. But the downside is you can't transfer on these and if you want to go between the bus and the metro with just a single ticket, you can't do that because the EMT tickets are only for the bus unless you get that metro bus pass. My second cheap public transportation option for Madrid is to get a multi-public transport card. So what exactly is it? This is a Tarjeta Transporte Publico or TTP card. This is your public transport card. It's a reloadable transportation card that gives you access for one ride on the metro, bus, light rail, or the tram in zones A to M1. You can buy these at airport kiosks on the metro stations at certain tobacco stops and newsstands, as well as on the light rail Metro Ligero station and a few other authorized resellers. This card costs two euros fifty for just the card, plus whatever fares you want to load onto it. There are a couple of different ticket types. There is the single ticket type and then the ten journey ticket type. For the single ticket type, there are two different options that you can load onto this card. The first single ticket type is a Bilet Sencillo, and that is for zones A and ML1, which runs you about 1 euro 50 to 2 euros. Super cheap. Then you have the single combo ticket, which gives you access to the entire Metro Rail systems, as well as ML1 to ML3. And that single ticket is only 3 euros. The second type of ticket is the 10 journey ticket, and those again are broken up into two different types that you can load onto your card. The first we discussed with the EMT pass, and that is the 10 journey metro bus ticket for 12 euros 20. And there's also a 10 journey combo ticket, which gives you access to the entire metro network in Madrid, as well as ML1 to ML3 for 18 euros 30. But keep in mind, all you really need is zone A. It has all of your tourist attractions and everything you want to see in Madrid. To use this card, you just tap it on the reader system and go about your merry business. And don't forget to tap it each time you transfer trains or buses. The great thing about it is that there are options available. You can buy a single journey ticket. You can buy a single combo journey ticket. You can buy a 10 trip ticket for just zones A and ML1, or you can buy a 10 trip ticket for the entire Metro network. It's the size of a credit card and it's extremely cheap. You can also load additional passes on this. For instance, you can load 10 single use passes on this, or you can load two 10 trip passes on this for a total of 20 journeys all at once. One of the downsides of this card is that if you're getting a single journey metro ticket, it's only valid for up to five stations. And if you want to go further than five stations on the metro line, then you need to pay an additional 10 cents per trip. That can get pretty annoying and pretty costly pretty quickly. If you're buying a single use ticket or an airport ticket, because yes, you can load a special 3 euro additional airport ticket that'll get you one trip from the airport to the city center for only 3 euros. Again, super cheap. But if you load that airport ticket or that single use ticket, it's only valid for that day. You can't buy two airport tickets and expect to use it two days later. That's not how it works. What you buy on that day for a single ticket, you have to use on that day. The single ticket also doesn't cover bus fare. Again, there's no transfers unless you buy that special combo ticket that allows you to transfer to the bus. And once you lose the card, it can't be replaced. Y'all, you're gonna have to buy a new card for two euros 50, load up another pass on it and go about your business. But overall, this ticket is pretty good and pretty cheap. My second cheap public transportation option in Madrid is to load a tourist pass or a tourist card on your TTP card. So this TTP card allows you to load different passes on it. One of them is the tourist pass and that allows unlimited rides in the metro depending on the zone you choose, zone A which is the city center as well as metro line 1 and the EMT buses and they call it zone T which is the entire metro rail network in addition to those E1 and E2 stations that are kind of far away. It gives you unlimited trips on the metro, the light rail, the EMT bus, as well as the Cercanayas suburban trains. But it does not give you access to ride the Airport Express bus or the Renfe train all the way out to Toledo. The price depends on what zones you buy and how many days you need it. So you can choose from a one, two, three, four, five, or seven day pass there are no six day passes, people. And kids under four are free and there are half off for kids ages four to 11. For zone A, a one day pass is only eight euros 40. And that's extremely cheap for unlimited options. And in zone T, a one day pass is only 17 euros. And this is a matrix so you can see what days you might need and how much that pass will cost. You can buy this 
in the same location as the TTP tickets. So at the airport customer service offices or the Metro ticket machines, the Metro Ligero stations, you can do this even at your terminal at the airport before going down the escalator. To use this, it's the exact same as the multi-use card. You just tap it on your different form of transportation and there you go. I used the tourist card on my journey and I loved it because I didn't have to worry about whether or not I needed a special ticket for the bus or the light rail. I just had one pass and it was very, very convenient. Another great thing about this card is that if you get the tourist pass, you don't have to pay the two euros 50 supplement for the card and you don't have to pay the three euro airport supplement to use it. So if you calculate it, two trips from the airport, that's six euros, plus the two euros 50 for the card, you're already saving eight euros 50 by just getting the tourist card. The only downside to really using the tourist card is in my fourth cheap public transportation option, which is to walk. You will do a lot of walking in Madrid. It is a walkable city, so you may not need all of those passes. And you should know that Madrid is the best, best viewed on foot. I had a great time walking around Madrid. Actually, I preferred to walk around Madrid because it is a gorgeous city and it's so lively and full of life. Madrid is a city that does not sleep. You heard it here, you may have heard it elsewhere, but it is absolutely true. Dinner doesn't start until like nine o'clock at night, so everybody is up from the old to the really young. To Most sites are in walking distance anyways, and it's great exercise. You can take gorgeous photos walking, and you can find some really amazing shops. Like I found Casa Hernanz on my walk, and I'll do a whole video on how to buy espadrilles or alpargatas at Casa Hernanz, so subscribe to be notified for when that video will post. I found that shop as well as a few great tapas bars that I walked into that had amazing food, and I wouldn't have have seen it if I'm traveling on a bus or traveling underground in the metro. Of course the downside to walking is if you're walking everywhere all day long your feet are going to hurt. Plus Madrid, for your information y'all, is not a flat land at all. Madrid is rather hilly so you're going to have some burn when you walk. But you know what, it's okay because you'll be so engaged with all of the activity and the nightlife around you that you may not even really notice until you actually sit down. My final cheap public transportation option is to ride a bike. Yes, bike rentals in Madrid are becoming a thing and you may want to check that out. There are a lot of electric bikes in Madrid because as I just said, Madrid is a hilly place. There are over 120 docking stations all around the city and there are many different companies that you can use. The price depends on how long you want to rent the bike. There are one, three, and five day passes available. And just for reference, at one one hour rental will cost around two euros, where if you have an additional hour, that'll cost an additional four euros. There's an annual fee of about 25 euros, so if you want to use it the year round, feel free. You can buy these passes using your debit or credit card at kiosks all throughout the city. You cannot miss them. There's a large totem pole and there's a whole rack of bikes for you to use. So to rent a bike in Madrid, you have to download the BC Med app, load whatever pass you want on it, and the green light means you take your bike and go. The red light means you turn it back to the docking station and the blue light means that it's already reserved and that's it. The great thing about a bike is that it's cheap, it's easy to use, and most of Madrid is pretty bike friendly. They're also e-bikes so you don't have to work as hard up a hill. The downside of renting a bike is that you're also sharing a street with Madrid traffic. There are rules that they have to follow but that doesn't mean everybody follows them. Also Madrid is best seen by foot, not necessarily bike. And again, Madrid is hilly, so you're gonna have to turn on that electric bike to get up hills and it may run out of batteries or a charge. When you rent a bike, you're also responsible for if it's stolen. There are also late fees attached to it. And there's also a pretty significant 150 euro hold fee when you reserve the bike because you know, again, you have to make sure that you bring it back and that fee will be removed once you return the bike. But if you're looking for cheap public transportation options, the last thing you want is a 150 euro hold on your card. But other than that, it's a pretty cheap way to get around and it's really eco-friendly and efficient. So that's it. Those are my cheap public transportation options for Madrid. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos on Madrid. I'm gonna do one about the best food, as well as the Museo de Prado, and my itinerary for when I was there. So if you're looking for things to do in Madrid, you will get that if you click that subscribe button. As I like to say, now that you know more about the Madrid public transportation system and how to get around on a budget, it's time for you to frolic, have courage, and go to Madrid and ride around in public transportation for as cheaply as possible. I'll catch y'all in the next video, bye.